GM and welcome to the future of Ethereum scaling here. We have a ZK sync with the ERA mainnet launch. You may have seen over on Twitter over the past week, 24th of March, 2023 was a date being projected as something special coming from the ZK sync guys. And it was them delivering mainnet. So as they posted in the blog here, today marks a big milestone for ZK Sync era and Ethereum. The gates to the world's first ZK EVM mainnet are now open in a permissionless manner for everyone to use. So this one is super interesting. It's obviously ZK Tech and the first in production ZK EVM. Matix comes on Monday. Tomorrow, these guys beat them to the punch rather interestingly. So this is the first of its kind and this is a big step forward for the crypto space. Now, generally what most people are interested in is when airdrop. Previously did some transactions on ZK Sync testnet and it seems now with the mainnet out but no airdrop that it's going to be the mainnet interactions that will count for this airdrop. So seeing some timelines around one year I seen someone post earlier of when the tokens could drop for this but I have nothing confirmed here. So no idea when the tokens could come out but we do know there will be an airdrop as it's alluded to throughout this video from some of the teams here. So let's get started with this ZK Sync. Go to their ecosystem page here, which is ecosystem.zksync.io. And what you can see here is if you click on a live on era, these are the ones that are currently on the mainnet. There's only a total of 15 projects live right now. And some of these are kind of like, you know, Path Network, which is an Oracle. And there's some bridges here that are connected to this mainnet, you know, these aren't the most interesting of things and probably ones that you can't really interact with. So what I've done here is just go through the main ones that I think are worth interacting with. But of course, if you want to try and interact with all 15 of these dApps, go ahead, fill your boots. The more transactions you do on here, the more volume you do on here as well, the more ETH you bridge across, as we saw with the Arbidrum token airdrop, it's probably all likely to play favorably into your hands for a bigger airdrop, the more active you are. So we shall go through some of these. Now, if we start by here, of of course, you need to add the mainnet network over onto your MetaMask, or if you're using Argent Wallet as well, it's on Argent. So you can go through the details here. I'll leave this in the description down below and you can add it manually or alternatively. For example, let's just go to mute straight away, try and connect MetaMask here. And it just neatly gives us the pop-up to add the mainnet details straight away. If you just click approve and that'll just get it onto your MetaMask, no hassle. So with the network, added we're now going on to bridge some funds over so this is portal.zksync.io forward slash bridge as you can see here the bridge page is what we're on and this is where you deposit from eth mainnet into zk sync era mainnet so if you wanted to deposit from a different route multi-chain is probably better for this but from mainnet to zk sync and this is their official bridge so there could be some special points in terms of the airdrop for utilizing this i would definitely recommend using this one specifically this is what i did i just deposited a little bit of funds by connecting my mainnet wallet here typing in the amount that I wanted to put on. I just put over 0.15 for now, just for this tutorial introduction, and then click deposit. It took a few minutes, and then that was confirmed on the Block Explorer there. So that is how you bridge. Very simple to do, very intuitive. I'm sure you've done this all before. Now let's move on to the first project here, which is ZK Ape. So this is an NFT collection on there. And this one is quite interesting because there's a lot being built out by these guys. We'll jump into their blog post in just a second. And you can actually mint these NFTs now and they haven't fully minted out. So this is why I wanted to get the video out pretty quick. If we just go to this page here on their blog post. So they've got a variety of projects under their belt. DNFT, ApeX, Apes Domains, Apes Bank, Apes Scan, Apes Cade, Apes DAO. All of these things will be part of the Ape Verse. And really intriguing, there will be like dividend rewards for the holders of these NFTs, as you can see down here. So for example, ZK Apes, NFTs, DEX, the Ape X, dividends would come to the NFT holders. So do have a read of that. I'll leave this in the description below as well. But if you do come and mint these today, like I'm going to show you, you also, as they state, fulfill at least six actions on ZK Sync era mainnet before ZK Sync token airdrop. So they're kind of telling us here that the airdrop's coming and this is six of the factors we can tick off. One, mint an NFT on ZK Sync mainnet. Two, of course, as we just showed, bridge some funds over. You need some funds on here to do so. Three, deposit more than a hundred bucks of liquidity into mainnet. Four, a transaction on the mainnet. Five, interact with more than one smart contract. And six, 
complete transactions over 100 bucks. And these are minting at 0 0.08 ETH. So that is over $100. There's 9,999 of these NFTs. I'm just going to connect my wallet on the top right hand corner. Now from here you can see the available boxes I can go through. So the public first come first serve minting is open. 3,564 are gone out of 9,999 NFTs. So there's still time to be one of the first minters on here. The max you can mint is 30 per wallet and they are 0 0.08 ETH per ape. So I'm going to mint one for you now, but I did speak to the team just earlier to try and get some whitelist free NFTs as well. So they've got some set aside for this. So there will be a giveaway with this video. If you want to get your hands on a free whitelisted NFT, one of these cool ZK apes, all you need to do is comment down below and tell me what you like about this collection. I'll get the team to pick out the winners and we will be in contact with you via the comment section down below guys. So make sure you do that and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But now let's go ahead and mint one. So number of apes I'm gonna mint here is just one for now. We're gonna press confirm and you can see the gas cost on screen is just $1.55, a total of 142 bucks and confirm. So I'll show you my ape in just a second, but you can see some of the benefits of holding these apes, the dividends from the decks, the airdrops of NFTs that are coming, the ZK Apes token airdrops. There's going to be a token attached to this as well for their metaverse and all their protocols. It looks like they've got a big stacked roadmap ahead. So for 0 0.08 ETH, and for the first real collection on here makes a lot of sense to mint one in my opinion and obviously get involved with the giveaway down below as well but as you can see from this over on mint square you can connect to zk sync era and then you can see my ape here with an owl on his shoulder looking pretty aggressive so moving on zk roll up DeFi platform mute we've covered this on the channel a few times but this one is live on mainnet so let's just go over we've connected our wallet already what I would recommend doing is just swapping a little bit of say ethereum into the mute token the slippage on here as the liquidity is not particularly deep has been a little bit bad as of late but if you just do that swap a few funds on here make sure you got some transactions going through and just participating in this network as much as possible you can also go to the dao and actually stake your mute for demute as well or even pull some assets if you want to add liquidity over here i would just do as much as you feel comfortable with but try and do as many transactions as possible number of transactions frequency and total you know usd amount i think will be a big factor in the amount of airdrop you get from zk sync rhino fi another DeFi protocol on here if we just connect up to this one as well they do have their bridge also. It says 50% off fees at this moment in time. You could use this one to try and get some transactions on here. I'll probably do a small bridge via this as well. And then you want to actually come here and you actually have to deposit funds onto this platform. First, you link your wallet, step one, just by signing a quick message and then to unlock your key. And there we go. The account has been set up. Make your first deposit. So I'll just deposit a tiny amount on here and then do a quick swap. Gas cost, 61 cents, just standard stuff here. Just playing around with some small funds. We'll do bigger amounts on my other computer after this, but we just want to try and go through all the steps here real quick. This requires 70 confirmations for it to deposit. So not enough time for this video to show you entirely, but if you just come to the swap feature by here, what I would do is just swap a bit of ETH into their native token, which is the Rhino token. DVF is the ticker. So I'll just accumulate a small amount of their tokens as well. If you want to provide liquidity on here and check out the invest features, etc., also worth having a poke around. Then we have Space Fi. Again, this one is like a mixture of DeFi and NFTs all in one. They also have a bridge as well, maybe worth utilizing that. I've connected my wallet up here. They do have their own token yet again. Some of these ecosystem tokens, Rhino, this one, Mute, they could all do well if there's a bit of a bubble within this ZK Sync era mainnet kind of ecosystem. So do be aware of all the tokens available. And on the swapping page for this one, you can see decent UI. There's only three assets to actually swap between ETH, USDC, and wrapped Ethereum. So worth just swapping a little bit of stuff across. I'll just do a little bit of a swap there and confirm that in the wallet. So that swap has gone through there, got a bit of USDC on here. Now I could go ahead to the pools page and then start to actually LP that position as well. So worth thinking about doing that. And then last but not least, we have syncswap.xyz. I believe this one went live on mainnet within the last like 12 hours. So this is another new one. We're just going to connect up. 
This one does not as yet have a token, but maybe if we use this, there could be an airdrop for this token as well at a later date. I don't know, that is not confirmed, but I have a very sneaky suspicion they will drop a token at some point. So just interacting with all these things from the get-go puts you in a good position, not only for the ZK Sync airdrop, but for any token airdrops of these various protocols as well. And there you go, I just wrapped a little bit of ETH into wrapped ETH over there. I might have a little play around with the pools in just a moment for that as well. So as ever with any airdrop, it always pays to be early to do frequent transactions, you know, check back here on a weekly basis. And as there's new projects launching on top of this, getting involved from the early stages from the outset makes a lot of sense in my opinion. We don't know for certain when the airdrop will come, but there will be a token airdrop at some point. So you do want to position yourself ready for this, especially if you're feeling the FOMO from Arbitrum or others. So get involved, follow these types of guides online and get yourself in a chance to get some free tokens rained upon your head. There we go. That is all from today's video. Check out the details below. Comment for the ZK Ape NFT free whitelist mint. Let's go. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.